everybody. This is MM SMR, and tonight I'm coming at you with another video. Um, this one might not be as long as some of the others, but I hope you like it. It is another eye exam and color test. So I have this chart here. I need to place it down. As you can see, there are many, many different colors. I think what we should do first is just go over each color, and I will read out the name under it with my trusty pointer. So just follow along with me. Aquamarine, Kingfisher, Teal, Lake Blue, Azure Blue, Peacock Blue, Marine, Orchard, Navy, Prussian Blue, Charcoal, Black, Purple, Wildflower, Heather, Magenta, Red Violet, Burgundy, Bramble, Sepla, I'm probably saying that wrong, Chocolate, Flint, Slate, Peat, Peach, Spice, Topaz, Jasmine, Desert, Tan, Sandstone, Clay, Chestnut, Boulder, Amber, Orange, Blossom, Rose Pink, Tulip, Fuchsia, Hot Pink, Scarlet, Rose Red, Crimson, Bark, Sunset, Begonia, Flame Red, Lime, Yellow, Olive, Sunflower, Meadow, Daffodil, Sunshine, Fawn, Terracotta, Gold, Marigold, Twarny, Moss, Leaf Green, Sea Green, Sage, Evergreen, Fern, Verdant Green, Meadow, Forest, Bud Green, Alpine Green, Sea Green. So there are many colors there. Let's count them all. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72. So, in total, we have 72 colors across one, two, three, four, five, six, six columns. So, I will say that I find some of the names of these colors to be very misleading or outright wrong. Uh, for example, this one here is called Amber, 
but this is coral, this is not amber. Uh, this one here is called scarlet, and I guess it looks kind of red, but it's also more pink than a true red. Um, and some of that could be because the printer that printed this out is um, out of its mind, or possessed by the devil, or both. So that could have been part of the reason that the color is off. But I just wanted to keep that in mind. If I said amber and you thought that it was more coral, um, it's not you. It, it, it does look more coral. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to randomly point to some colors. And I want you to tell me what you think that color is. Now, it doesn't have to be exactly, you don't have to strive to read the names or anything. Um, just describe it. So for example, if I point to this color, you would say yellow. If I point to you know, this color, you could say purple. And I'm really just looking for the dominant color. So for example, this one here is a medium green. This is a dark green. This is a light green. But if I point to any of these, if you just want to say green, I will completely accept that. The same thing with the blues. Even if I point to like a light blue versus a dark blue, as long as you say blue, we're good to go. So I'm just going to point, and I just want you to tell me what color I'm pointing to, okay? And I'll just ask you a couple of questions about the colors. So, let's begin. This, what color is this? The pink, very good. And this, what color is this? Mm-hmm, it's like a brown, excellent. And this one, what color is this? Green, very good. How about this one? Mm-hmm, it's a blue. What is this one? It's gray, yes, excellent. Uh, how about up here? What is this one? Purple, very good. This one? Mm-hmm, yellow, yep. And then how about this one? What color is this? It says it's orange, but this is not really orange. It does look more coral or pink, so I will accept that if you said that instead. And what is this one? It's black. Yes, very good. And this one? Yes, it's like a, like a mint green. Or almost like... If you said aqua, I'll accept that as well, but it is more of a mint green. Very good. And this one? Another yellow. Yes, very good. Okay, so you have no trouble identifying the colors. Um, now can you tell me, is this color here darker or lighter than this color? It's lighter. Very good. Is this color here darker or lighter than this color? It's darker. Very good. Is this color darker or lighter than this color? It's darker. Is this color darker or lighter than this color? Lighter, very good. Is this color lighter or darker than this color? It's lighter, mm-hmm. Is this color darker or lighter than this color? It's darker, very good. Is this color darker or lighter than this color? It's lighter, excellent. Is this color darker or lighter than this color? It's a very trick question, isn't it? But yeah, this one is probably a little darker. Um, is this color darker or lighter than this color? It's lighter, yeah. And is this color darker or lighter than this color? It's darker, yes. So, you had no trouble with that. What I'm going to do now is just start pointing to colors very quickly, very fast pointing. And I just want you to tell me what color you see. Once again, it doesn't have to be exact. Like for example, don't pay any attention to the letters. Um, if you see this one and you say coral or pink, that's fine. I'm really not looking for like, you know, whether the color, the shade of the color. Just when I point to something, just tell me the color you see, okay? So I'm just going to point really fast, and I just want you to tell me, okay? And let's begin. Mm-hmm. Yep. Follow the pointer. Mm-hmm. 
far you doing good. You got them all right. Just keep following it. And just follow it and just recognize which color has been pointed to. This one? Blue, yep. Yeah. This one? Mm hmm Like a red pink, yep. Yeah. And this one? Yeah, it's like brown. But if you said black, I'll accept it. Okay, very good. So, you didn't have any trouble at all with the chart. Now, for this chart, I put some tape on the back so nothing would come off. So let's take so I wouldn't go flying around on the towel. So let's turn this over. And let's do something a little different. Something we have not done before. I am going to use my pointer to trace certain numbers and capital letters, okay? No lowercase letters, just capital letters and numbers. And I want you to follow the pointer, follow the tip, and I want you to tell me what letter or number I am creating on the paper. So we're going to start with numbers because there's fewer numbers than letters. And for instance, this is how we're going to do this, is follow it. What number did I just trace? Six. Very good. So that's what we're going to do. So I'm just going to, not going to be in any order. I just want you to follow the pointer and tell me what number I'm tracing, okay? So let's go. What number is that? Four. Very good. What number is that? Seven. Excellent. What number is that? Zero. Yes. And what number is this? It's a two. Yeah. Three, yep, and it's one, yep. What's that one? Trick question, it's one again, yes. <laughs> You're good at this. That is a five. So, we have zero, one, or one. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Very good. So you had no trouble with that. So let's do the same thing with a couple of letters. I will not go through all 26 letters. But I'm just going to draw a couple of letters onto here, and I want you to tell me what letters I put into this. Um, and they're all capital letters, okay? But there will be no lowercase letters here. So to get away. What letter is that? M, yep. It's for M and S and R, absolutely. To be, huh? That one. C. What's that one? It's an S. Yep. What's that? It's an A. Yep. What's that one? It's L. <laughs> yes. Very good. Very good. C, yep. Q, 
you go. You. Mm -hmm. Not that one. Let me do that again. It's a G. Yep. <laughs> so I yep. An X, yes. So very, very good. You didn't have any trouble at all with that. So now I just have one more test to do today. And this is kind of a fun interactive feature. So I have here these cute little bunny figurines. These are actually crayons. I believe I picked these up at the 99 cent store around uh, Easter time. And look at how cute they are. And you can actually put them in both directions. <laughs> They're so adorable. So what we have here is a series of bunny uh, crayons. We have six of them. We have a red one, a green one, a blue one, a yellow one, a pink one, and a purple one. Now, the purple and the pink look very similar because on camera this looks even more magenta. In real life, it is a little bit more lilac. But this is certainly not a true purple. It really is more of a pinky purple. And this is like a pink pink. And they look like they're kissing. But these are so cute. Let's make all the bunnies kiss. traditional Easter kind of colors. This is Christmas and this is just boy and girl. <laughs> well, anyway, because we have these six bunnies, I am going to take them off camera and I am going to randomly show you each of the six bunnies. And I want you, you can do this two, one of two ways, okay? The way that this is going to be an eye test is that I'm going to ask you to close your eyes and then I'm going to tell you to open your eyes and when you open your eyes you're going to see a rabbit here and you're going to tell me what color you see alright so as long as you guess the color correctly you will um, have one you will have you know proven that your eyesight is very good now if you want to add another layer to this you could certainly try to guess which rabbit I am going to be showing you um, to see if you have the whole kaboyancing going on, but you do not need to do that, okay? So, when I tell you to um, open your eyes, just tell me what color you see, but if you would like to guess what color, you're welcome to do that. So, let's begin now. So, close your eyes. Close your eyes. Keep them closed. Do you see? Mm -hmm. This is the adorable little green bunny. Look at his little ears and eyes. <laughs> his legs. So cute. So yeah, that's the green one. Did you guess that? Well, we didn't need to guess, so don't worry. Okay, so close your eyes again. Close your eyes. Keep them closed. And now, open up. And what color rabbit is this? This is actually the pink bunny. See? The really true Barbie pink bunny. Okay, now close your eyes again. Keep them closed. Keep them closed. Do you see? Mm -hmm. It's the cute little yellow bunny. Kind of matches my nails. Look at that. Except he's not as shiny. <laughs> but yep, that's the bunny. Okay. 
Okay, now close your eyes again. Keep them closed. Keep them closed. And now open them. And what color bunny do you see? Mm -hmm. It's the red one. He looks almost orange on camera. He looks more orange on camera than red, but in real life he is indeed red. And he's got a dirty ear. Look at that. He's been running around in the farmer's garden again. There you go. Okay, so close your eyes again. Close them. Keep them closed. Keep them closed. Now, open them. And what bunny do you see? Purple, yeah? This is the purple bunny. So cute. Now finally close your eyes, close your eyes, keep them closed. Now because you've seen the other five bunnies, try to guess which color you're going to see now. Which one haven't I shown? See if you've been paying attention. Okay, keep them closed and now open them. And what color do you see? Mm -hmm. It's the little blue bunny. So we have the blue bunny and the yellow bunny and the purple bunny and the pink bunny and the red bunny that looks orange and of course the green bunny. Oops. But he hopped away. So here we go. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six. you had no trouble at all with the colors or the numbers or the pointing so once again your eyes are excellent you don't need to worry about them i hope this video was relaxing i hope you enjoyed it um i hope to make a video kind of a a rude outrageous storybook type of story <laughs> video before the end of the month, but I don't know how much time I'll have to make videos um, over the next week or so, so I wanted to get this one uploaded tonight. I hope it relaxed you, and I hope you have a 